Greetings, it is Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm here with another Giraffe tutorial to help you get that A in your coursework. And today we're here with a little update to a date validation video I made around two years ago. So I, I made a video on how to use the date time formatter to validate if a date is valid or not. And someone pointed out in the comments, April only has 30 days, not 31. Because in the video, I tested the 31st of April as a date. And it returned valid, when April only has 30 days. So there's cl clearly a minor problem with this program. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So this line of code here, by the way, if you haven't watched the video, there's an eye up in the corner. I advise you watch it. This code here, get rid of it. Instead, we're going to do date time formatter. Call it whatever you want, so formatter, or whatever you want to call the object, equals date time formatter dot of pattern. Then you do the string you want to use as the pattern layout. So in the UK, we're going to do day day month month u u u u. You use use not wise for years. It's good practice in Java. Then you do a comma. Okay, you do a comma here. So in this uh, function. You want to put a comma and pass in locale dot, and then if you're in the UK, do dot UK, USA, do dot USA, whatever country you want to use, which also uses this date, uh, month, year format. So if you're in a different country like uh, the USA, you'd want to do US if you're using a different layout to this. But if you're using this layout, use dot UK because it will work. This does require you to import util.locale and time.format resolver style. After the function, the closing bracket, you put dot with resolver style, then do resolver style dot strict. Essentially, you're telling this date time formatter doesn't just have to be valid, it has to actually be correct. As in, if it's 31st of a month which doesn't have 31 days, it is invalid. You are telling the program essentially that. Because originally it just thought, oh, a day, a month could have 31 days, but I don't know which month's going to have 31 days. So that's all you do. And now if we input the 31st of April, it says invalid because that's not a valid date. Look, we're going to just do a few others. We're going to do the... 30th of April. As you can see, it says valid date. So guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if um, you enjoyed, 